Good afternoon, everyone. Well, my name is Daniel. I'm based in the Department of Agriculture. And my research is specifically concerned with animal nutrition and metabolism. But uh, because I used a, a plant which is really suitable to grow in arid environments, I thought I would fit in this conference. And as we all know, sustainability, which is a multidisciplinary topic, and I think it's even more appropriate. Uh, so my presentation, I'll talk about a bit about the growing world population, how it fits in the context of uh, the, my research and land degradation, a bit of the, the certification which demands further need to develop plants which are suitable for our, our environments, and also as some other presentations today already refer to the struggle of livelihoods to meet their demand for production foods. Again, the strategy of developing alternative food stuff for animals. It is important. Uh, there is my, the research I'm doing, some other potential plants which can be used, and the, the conclusions. As you all can see, uh, we have a growing world population, and specifically, we have the concentration of this population in the big, big countries, which accounts for about 35 to 40 percent of the population we have today. And it, it means about 2.5 to 3 billion people worldwide. And the characteristic of these people have, it's because they are demanding more and more protein every day at a very rapid pace. And just to give you an idea, uh, globally, the demand for pork, poultry and beef production today is around 250 million tons annually, right? And the, the growing demand is not being helped by the desertification problem we are having. This is the region in Brazil. Uh, it's an ecosystem called Caatinga. Uh, the whole area is bigger than the England itself. And I, what I mean by the desertification is not the expansion of ex existing deserts. It's the transformation of arable land into areas which are not able to produce the same amount of food uh, in the similar conditions. The, the desertification costs to the world more than 40 billion dollars a year because of the loss of productivity in the land. It affects directly over 1 billion people in the globe and these people rely basically in these lands to produce their protein needs from ruminant animals and the main responsible for the desertification is the unrational use of human beings of, of the land. Okay, in my research, uh, we already had a presentation talking about anaerobic digestion, and I think that it's really the future ahead. As you can see, I've been doing some uh, metabolic studies and simulating the digestion of ruminants into in vitro test tubes. And specifically, I've been using a plant from the tomato family called Solano Lactocarbo. And this plant is a very wild plant, but it's very resilient to wild environments. It grows where other plants are not able to grow. Uh, so, basically, one of the findings I've had so far is that when you use these two parts of the plant, the leaf and the fruit parts, they are very high in protein content, more than 15%, and they can help this situation of big pressure to produce protein in a very uh, context where you have growing lung degradation. Also, these wild plants, they're going to have ex extra amount of secondary metabolites because they haven't been bred and used as the conventional feedstuff. They have chemicals which can be good for our health, like uh, phytoestrogens and saponin, solanin, which has been proved in some research that they can cope and uh, counteract <coughs> cancer problems. 
So again, we're going to produce products from arid lands and which are richer in some components which are desirable for our health. So, thank you very much. I'd like to thank my sponsorship from the Brazilian government, CAPS. And uh, the main conclusion is that natural solutions and alternative plants can hope to alleviate problems in livestock production in arid lands. Thank you very much.